How's it going everyone? I'm Venom Mystere, and if you didn't see that last game, which was Solar vs. Maru Game 1, this is Game 2, pause this for the love of God and go back and watch the game. Now, I'm not just saying that, it was probably one of the best games I've ever casted. Constant action, Terran vs. Zurich in the way it was meant to be portrayed. Constant drops, constant creep spread, Ling, Bane, action always you know, splitting, splash damage, multitask, oh, it had it all. You have to see that game because not only was it incredible, but it sets the stage for this game, game two of Solar vs. Maru. And if you don't know who Solar is, he is a Korean Zerg, friendly guy, cool guy, who was a little bit, he is a Korean Zerg who is more involved with the foreign scene than most. Many Korean pro gamers really don't speak any English at all, but Solar is one of those Korean pro gamers who tends to be more involved with the foreign scene. I really like this guy. He's fun to watch, great macro play. He's made it far in GSL. And in the top right of Daybreak, we have what is many people's favorite player, a Terran with micro so fierce he can defy the odds and win games no matter how behind he is. It is Maru the Marine Prince, the guy fabled to take the crown after Marine King, and I think he's way better than Marine King. I think Maru laughs Marine King Prime out of any sort of debate. I think that he is far surpassed his master, if you want to look at that storyline and give it any validity. So Maru, of course, he likes his Reaper. He is not a guy who is afraid to multitask by any means. He pretty much just berated Solar for eight straight minutes with constant aggression, beautiful micro with excellent macro behind it. And he's actually going to delay Solar's third here. This is a huge pain in the ass. Solar actually double queened up. And Maru, he's considering killing this extractor. Now remember last game, Solar was completely ready for this Reaper, so perhaps Maro's just saying, well, I know he wants to cancel, so I'll just kill the drone. He's not going to actually leave this extractor. So he gets a drone for his trouble, which I guess is more than he would have got trying to go over here. Double Marine on the way for Maru, as well as a factory. So last game, Maru went for a double medevac quick stem drop. This is a build that's been picking up a lot of steam recently. A build that's very good. It is a build that can really kill your opponent if they're not ready for it. And my god, if you're at the lower levels, it's just devastating. But even at the higher levels, I mean, for god's sake, these guys are top tier Korean pro gamers. But this double drop still can do a lot of damage, even with beautiful defense like we saw from Solar last game and a lot of forward queens. It is still a build that is very dangerous and a build that you can transition out of very easily. So the idea is that you get two relatively quick barracks after going Reaper Expand. You get quick stem pack and then you tech into factory. You don't make anything out of the factory but you go ahead and make a reactor on the factory and then you want to swap Aru, the starport, onto the factory for very quick double medevacs. Then you'll have 16 marines right when your double medevacs finish. You'll load all the marines up, your stim pack will be about 90% done whenever you start your drop and your stim pack will probably finish right when the drop hits. Very hard to defend a zerg, especially if they skimp on queens or they're trying to go into fast muta or they're tr sloppy joe trying to go into roach and the roaches are late. I mean, I can go on and on and on as far as think that this Terran build is good against. Basically, if the Zerg is not a good defender, you can just rip him apart. Solar, unfortunately for Maru, is an incredible defender. He has a ton of drones, lots of queens, and 1-1 one, one on the way. The Strop did virtually no damage last game, but it was just the beginning of the end for Solar, as yes, that initial drop of 16 Marines didn't do much damage, but the subsequent 8 minute onslaught of constant multitasking and wonderful aggression of Maru did start to do some damage, despite the fact that Solar had wonderful anticipation, map vision, and upgrades. And at this point, 
he's going to have all of his units in the correct spot to defend. And Solar has his five queens. Notice he has transfuse energy. And he uses transfuse right away. Solar gets a surround onto this little marine medevac for us. And Maru might lose a medevac. And once again, he loses about half of his units and almost a medevac. Almost the exact same thing that happened last game. And once again, we see another quick little reinforcement drop. So there are a lot of similarities in this game that there were to last game. We see that the Zerg's 1-1 upgrades are slightly ahead. Solar's made multiple queens and has them in the correct position. Maru, of course, is getting combat shield. This is quintessential when you're being aggressive with Marines because Banelings do a lot of damage to <laughs> Banelings. Er, Banelings do a lot of damage to Marines without combat shield. You really have to have combat shield to deal with Banelings. Especially when you're being very aggressive like this and you're doing a lot of micro base play. Maru wants to poke forward here, clear the active creep tumors, but when you make this many forward, forward, forward queens, you don't really have to worry about losing creep tumors, to be honest. Especially when they're right where your queens are. This is annoying. Obviously, you still want to kill the creep tumors as Terran, but what I mean is, you don't have to worry about Terran killing your creep tumor where they want to constantly be pushing and then using that advantage to just crush you. So often with aggressive Terran players, we see that is the case. As you see, Maru's third base just now finishes. 1-1 one, one upgrades are about to be done. What I mean by that is the constant aggression of a Terran if they drive back the Zerg's creep. So often the Zerg can't ever really truly defend, but wonderful creep spread is being reestablished here. And Solar's not the type of player to simply be destroyed by killing his creep spread. As we see, Maru is actually going to try to go for drones potentially here, but Solar might go for a flank. Maru does a lot of damage and he picks up. This is one thing you always have to consider about Maru. He's the kind of player who will get every little drop of worth out of his units. And a Widow Mine gets not a very good hit at all, and Maru forces a cancel on the base with his extremely potent upgraded Marines. Both players are at 1-1. Solar has 2-2 started, mind you, and Maru is lacking that attack upgrade on the way just yet. Notice Maru already has workers being rallied out to his third. He's kept up relatively well with the Solar Macro Zerg. Banelink speed is almost completed for Solar, and once this is completed, he will truly be able to defend well. But Maru is going to stem forward here. Notice the creep spread is just now being pushed out to the fourth. That is, of course, of Maru constantly deflecting the creep spread. And note that if Maru wasn't constantly deflecting the creep spread, Solar would, had, would have such obnoxious creep spread, it would be impossible for Maru to ever kill these bases. So yeah, Maru, he canceled this base. He didn't kill any drones at the third, but he still did damage. And Maru is known for, ooh, enemy <laughs> friendly fire there by the Widow Mine. Ooh, big counterattack here at the third base for Solar. And... Maru thankfully lifts his wall up, and Solar uses some banes here too over at the third. One Widow Mine goes off, kills some links, but Maru is losing a lot. He's retreating. Oh, he loses about a dozen SCBs, and he does have a little bunker, but it doesn't even matter because of all the links that are there. He is going to try to clean this up with his army that he retreated, but... That is exactly what you don't want to happen as Terran. Your vulnerable third base that you're muling aggressively and have your production starting up at gets attacked. And that is what you want to happen as Zerg. Beautiful stuff there because Solar is teching into Spire in this best of three that he is currently down a game on. Notice that while that was going on, Maru snuck a Widow Mine into the base of Solar. If we go to units lost, Solar has killed way more workers than Maru. So... Solar will just constantly try to counterattack Maru. One of the best ways to play against people who are incredibly obnoxious and in-your-face Terrans who always play aggressively and on your side of the map is counterattack their third base with links. So often Terrans will cut the necessary defenses at their third base, but Maru is not the kind of guy who can just be out multitask. So often these link counterattacks complemented with Bane links will do damage at the third base heavily due to the Terran player's inability to attack and split his army and do drops and defend. 
because defending so often can be tricky because you're always rallying out your units to be aggressive as we see a little bit of drop play going on but the meat and potatoes of this game is this top base being cancelled but Solar did an excellent counterattack, killed a lot of workers and if we go to income Solar has to be careful Ooh, another filthy widow mine shot that one's up to 20 kills Solar's now almost even in workers but Maru had to spend so many minerals remaking those SCVs. He really wanted to hover at about that many SCVs and make pure units. He didn't want to have to deal with this obnoxious, uh, always having to make more workers, and he's just going to pick up and lift there. And Maru, he's going to pick up his medevac, all of his marines up into his medevacs. Drop onto this high ground, re-pick up, doesn't really lose much, has two Liberators come over, and Corruptors are the choice for Solar. So he's not going for Mutus, he wants the more beefy Corruptors, which are better in long, drawn-out engagements. 3-3 three, three is on the way for Maru, he's going to press down into this third. This high ground is a very good spot to push from. And a Widowmind goes off and kills a lot of Bandlings, and suddenly the Prince of Marines is in a good position, He's trying to take a fourth, stimming down, clearing out the active creep tumors, and Solar desperately wants to defend. He's going to run for it with his bands, but Maru has so many marauders, and he, the mate and potatoes of his army, these Jim Rainers, these marines, the unit that he's known for, was hidden up on top of that ramp with the Widow Mines, and suddenly Solar is kind of grasping at straws here. He's running out of money, another big hit, and 15 workers have gone down as some beautiful Liberator harass has been occurring. And Maru was pressuring the fourth base. 17 drones have been lost and it was almost entirely here by that Liberator because we see there's still decent at the third and the fourth. But pressure is going to be applied here up at the fourth base and Maru is probably going to get this too as Solar's army is still in the middle of the map and these bio units do an insane amount of damage. Maru's going to stem back, he has the mine, decent hit, lots of bands, Maru's going to split like his life, depends on it, and suddenly, what Solar needs to defend is off, creep and he's out of bands, and I think Maru's going to do it, beautiful micro, kept all of his marauders right at that ramp so Solar couldn't properly engage, and Solar is about to be out of money, guys, this base is very low, Maru has this PF, he has what I would call a crushing lead because his 2-2 two, two upgrades, mind you, are about to be 3-3 three, three upgrades. He already has the attack variety and suddenly Solar is going to have to defend. These Marauders are going to sponge the band shots once again. So hard to attack off creep down a ramp into Marauder Mine and Maru knows that he's going to very patiently lures Solar in, and despite the fact that Solar had crisp micro and macro, I think the Prince of Marines is going to take this one, ladies and gentlemen, because plain and simple, Solar, he's trying to tech to Hive, but he doesn't have the money. He's down so much supply. Sure, he can win a moment of respite up here at this fourth and make a half-assed little army. Do you actually think he's going to be able to gain a foothold and hold off Maru's army for good? No. Maru's building a fourth. His theme's going to play again. He is the Prince of Marines after all. He has a ton of medevacs. This fifth base is going to be brutal. A couple more Liberators going down to brutalize some more drones. And Solar, plain and simple, is at a worker disadvantage now. Maru can throw whatever he wants at the top of this ramp. Marauders, what have you. He's at an upgrade advantage. But Solar is going to try to flank here. But Maru, plain and simple, his micro is too good and he just can't be stopped. He's going to stomp all over Solar here at the top of this fourth base, and that's the game. You have to subscribe for more StarCraft 2. That's just the way it is.